Are we on? Okay. Hello, wonderful people, places. My name is Adam Snowflake. I also go by Light and all these other names. Uh, today, we'll be exploring what I have done of Mermaids vs. Zombies because I just got my computer back. I kept pushing and pushing off, showing you guys what I've done because, um, not because nothing's made, but because it's very unfinished and unpolished, and I wanted to wait till I had more graphics. Uh, I do have a few other projects I've been working on because I've been computerless and in and out of the hospital and just working on this game wasn't uh, for a while feasible, but we're back now and I will be hiring an extra developer paying out of pocket because the Kickstarter for this was mostly made out of uh, for the art and this isn't exactly art that we are running out of budget, which I should have predicted, but it, the Kickstarter was always meant to boost the game. It wasn't meant to get the game done. So, um, this might all look a little bit scary, don't be afraid. Uh, you're gonna hear a lot of NPC dialogue and me doing some funny voices, so here we go. Uh, this is who you play as in the game. Uh, as you can see, the coding and the walking is a little bit off. We will fix that soon. I just gotta ed edit the change and the positioning. So if you, what you'll notice is when you go around here are these R's. These R's essentially are room teleportations. So they'll be invisible in the final game but they are physically there right now so I can see where we need to go and how to code everything. So we're gonna move up here and you can see the castle, which is not programmed. Um, all these little statues of Zib. Uh, for those who've been following the project for a long time, you know who Zib is. Zib is uh, one of the main characters. Uh, some hidden lore, and this is, could count as a spoiler, I don't know, is that Zib is actually a royal too, so. Uh, it's not well known. He lives in a cave. So here we have one of the houses you can explore in the game. I don't, I'm not quite satisfied with this art. I realize it was budget necessary, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or do away with it in the final game. And you're probably wondering what this cat guy is over here. This cat is one of the NPCs. He is the base because of the engine we have to use it. He's just the default that comes with it. He and the other mermaids will be replaced with something that looks a little bit more like Mr. Mickey. And you'll see Mr. Mickey in a second. And you play as Kenneth, you have a name, uh, and how you choose to play is really up to you. His, This is the NPC, Britta. I have a folder on my computer, which I'll show you guys later, that is just all the NPCs. Kenneth, how good to see, how good it is that you've left your home. I know things have been terrible since the passing of dot dot dot. Well, we all have mourned her plentiful, but I'm very glad you're finally leaving that dusty old house. Have a look around the town. Mertopia misses you. I'm sure everyone could stand to be greeted by you. I know we live right by the castle, but if you run into your cousin, tell her I send kind regards. Why am I worth missing? Are you sure Motopia misses me? While you hate the label, we do consider you a prince. We love you, Kenneth. Please don't forget that. Cool. I am loved. Um, okay, I'm just going to show you everything I've done, which is a lot. This house is not finished. Woot woot. Also, I was going to port this to visual to Game Boy Studio until I realized how terrible that would be. I'd lose all the color from my game. I'd lose all the little uh, things I've programmed so far. And honestly, sorry about the background noise. Um, honestly, Game Boy Studio 2 just does not cut what I need. I would love to port this game to the analog pocket. It's just not feasible right now, especially given the limited space. Oh my, Kenneth, what are you doing here? Well, no matter. Welcome to my home. As you can see, I've honored your family with a sorted array of statues. I will always be loyal to the Starlet family. That's actually the canonical name for Princess Bubbles. That's her last name. She's 16, don't get any ideas. In fact, I am the sculptor of these statues, if you recall correctly. Haha, <laughs> it landed me a nice home in a nice neighborhood. That's for certain. Why is your house so huge? What's your relationship to the royals? I am the lead sculptor of the kingdom. I made that statue of Neptune in the temple, actually. Okay, so all the mermaids are kind of polytheistic. I like to think we got pretty good representation for this game, but yeah, all the mermaids are polytheistic and it is like canon and stuff. Oh, Priest Hikaru. Oh, Kenneth, it's good to see you. Princess Bubble often tends to the temple, but we don't often see your face. I'm sure Neptune is pleased to have your worship. And religion does play a factor into this game, but it's all like mythology. Like, like the Hindu gods aren't going to come down and be like, and Jesus isn't going to come down and be like, we're mermaids now. But but Poseidon and Zeus and do it, and Mananan is a big one. Um, he's blessed us since the typhoon. 
I know you, let me adjust my mic because that's upsetting me. I know you've always struggled with religion, but no, we welcome you here. The gods could use the company and not just Neptune. Can you tell me, and I'm going to fix this menu later. Can you tell me about Neptune? What is the, why is this temple here? To thank the god for all his blessing he has bestowed upon us. In times of trouble, we go to him. The great and powerful Neptune thanks you for your worship. Also, I'm going to have some kind of like filter all over the game so it doesn't look like just boring sand. Make sure you leave an offering at his statue so he answers your prayers. And here we have the, like all of these priests. And there will be other objects in the game. This is just the base of what I got done. Um, and all these little cats, again, are going to be replaced by mermaids. You'll see in a sec. Praise be to Neptune. We are so thankful to him for helping us in times of trouble. Also, the official dub for the game is going to be like an official like dub of Let's Plays for it. It is going to be a thing. And I am going to hopefully hire or do get free actors for it. Um, it will be an official dub released for the game. And it'll be released on my YouTube channel that this video was on. Because that's where all my projects go. I have multiple channels. And... Uh, the the people who back the Kickstarter will get the sound bites first and even access to all the sound clips and then they'll be edited and done over Let's Play. If you do, we'll answer your prayers. That's Priest Boto. These names, though, I love this. Uh, Eco. You know, honestly, I'm going through a rough patch. I'm just really glad we have this temple here. Altars, at least the ones in Mertopia, tend to be rather expensive. I don't want to use just anything to honor the gods, you know? Plus, deity work in general is just plain advanced stuff. But this temple, it makes it easy. It makes everything about faith seem okay. It might, I know these are very wordy. That's, you're just going to have to deal with that. You are not obligated to talk to anyone, but it might make things easier for you to understand too, Kenneth, given your lack of faith and all. Abri. Priest Neptune, give Mortopia a call to action. Through this action, challenge us and make us stronger. And by this, let us accomplish great feasts. Bless us in your image and make us worthy of your love. Oh, so sorry. I didn't see you there. What exactly were you praying for? Sorry for interrupting. Mortopia needs to be stronger, so I was asking Neptune to make that happen for us. However so. Blessed be all who come here. This place is a sacred home. I personally struggle with intrusive thoughts, but they disappear here due to his presence. Plus, this place brings us all together. And this is the mermaid Kassab. It really is like Neptune is blessing Mertopia. I truly feel we're about to enter a new age of enlightenment. Mertopia is about to be blessed. I can feel it in my tail. And please, Neptune, when you send him my way, make me worthy. Oh, ah, 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 you startled me. I don't often see you here, Kenneth. The bubbles makes her presence known. Neptune guards Mortopia. All good and bad that comes our way is his doing. If you have an item in your inventory, you can go to his statue to leave him a gift. If you do so, he'll answer your prayers. Does he answer your prayers? Why the temple, though? Does he answer your prayers? Kenneth, I know this is hard for you to understand, given your lack of faith, but yes, he does. Dechimus. Oh, I'm very sorry. You caught me praying. This temple's like a safe haven for me. And it has been since it's been built. I come here often. You can really feel his presence, you know? It is truly a blessing. Why do you worship Neptune? What are you praying about? I was hoping for an adventure. This isn't foreshadowing at all. Oh, and also that white text is going to be removed. Don't worry. So let's go further down. And oh, we're at Mr. Mickey's farm. So this is Mr. Mickey, and he's... A uh, as soon as the artist did the $90 portrait for Mr. Mickey, he kind of duped, um, which is fine. He'll still be credited. I still have the rights to the artwork and everything. But um, I'm going to get another artist to replicate the style because I did pay $90 for it. For example, these, all the sprites for the game are reskins of the same sprite. As you can see, they're about the same size and everything. Um, Kenneth and Mr. Mickey and so I'm just gonna I it, but the original artist I got to do these sprites isn't doing the game anymore so but they're still on in the game and in that style so see see Mr. Mickey has a very un unique looking kind of sprite and he is not the only one so he's we're gonna get another artist to mimic this style 
and I'm looking for another artist right now. Right now I got to get the stickers done and then I got to mail those out to you guys. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, do that. And you're probably like, well, where are all the visual novel elements? Isn't this a hybrid? The visual novel elements, every time an important beat happens in the game, it switches to a visual novel. Uh, but this is the opening to the game. So there's no important beats yet. Also, this is just Mertopia. All of Mertopia will be destroyed after the first couple beats. So the visual novels are still there, and I'll show you some more from that in a second um, after I show you everything so far. But uh, until then, you know, Mr. Mickey. Hello, Kenneth. Good to see you. The farm's been struggling, but despite this as always, I hope you know you're welcome here. Feel free to look around and, of course, take care of the seahorses. Old Delilah's been struggling. Like, this is gonna be any more stereotypical. You know how it is. Well, anyways, I'm talking too much as always. You know me, Mr. Mickey the Talker. Can I help with the seahorses? Can you tell me about the typhoon? Can you tell me about the typhoon? It devastated Mertopia, so new murders were put in power. Your cousin, if I recall correctly. And so here we have all of this. And Kenneth is, has mixed reactions depending on who you talk to. And depending on how you play the game, I don't know if this is planned, but it, that might change. Looky, looky, who finally decided to show their face. The palace not good enough for you, Kenneth. Got a mosey along with us farm folk. Sorry, it's just I'm still resentful. Your family is in power, what with Bubbles, who's known for her crazy experiments. She's always been a nut job. It really takes guts for you to show your face around here. Haruto. Helping out the farm is rough, but watching the seahorses makes it worth it. It's actually, I'm sorry about the background noise, that's my family. It's actually been a while since we've seen you, Kenneth. I know things must be rough since the typhoon. Well, anyways, now that your family is in power, don't forget us, okay? We were your family first, you know. And this is the little barn. It's bigger on the inside. As you can see, there's all these stables with like a bunch of little seahorses going back and forth. And this one has a little sprite and I love her. I love her design. We want to feed the seahorses. It's actually quite easy. Just take the grub from the table and bring it to the stall and the horses will be fed. That's not finished yet. It's actually very fulfilling. Mertobia is huge, by the way. Like, it's a big open world. Um, okay, so I'm not going to go into all of these houses, so I have something to show for next time, but I will show you bits and pieces. Hey, Kenneth. Thanks for visiting. I'm still a little uneasy to leave my house without an escort. You know how much dagger eyes are hated right now? I'm not good at writing fantasy racism, but there's fantasy racism in this game. Don't want something to happen, you know? Anyways, though, it's good to see your face, and it's spelled like that on purpose. That's like a running pun in the story. Uh, there's a lot of fish puns and C is always spelled S-E-A no matter what version were you doing. It's been forever, man. Or person, since I hear you don't do labels these days or whatever. Why dagger eyes hated? Everything okay, man? I'm just a little on edge. I have visions of things I've been seeing. Don't want to worry you. So yeah, then we have all these little houses over here. Those were also done by the old artists. As you can see, it's a clash of art styles. I gotta fix that. I'll remedy it somehow. I hope. Uh, ah, I love the smell of fresh books in the afternoon. I actually do have the sprite for the uh, library. I don't know why I have not implemented it yet. I love the library is a great source of pride for Mortopia. You should know, given your royalty. It's thanks to Bubbles we have these books at all. Some peeps think her XPs are wack, yo, but I think they be chillin'. You dig my vibe? Well, anyhow, can you tell me what you're reading? How are their books underwater? Thanks to PB, the basically queen of Mertopia, her XPs. You know, she's always sciencing. I love this character. No other characters speak like this. It's just this one character. Uh, and here we have the library, and there'll be a lot of bookshelves. Um, let's see. So many books, so many to choose from. I wish I could live here. It's so peaceful. I would read books in the morning and fall asleep in the aisles. I could even flip through all the pages. You know, it's because the princess we have books at all. Paintings, too. She's so smart. Ah, our princess is just so, ah. Uh. Heavy sigh. It sounds like you've got a crush. I take it you're a big reader. I do. I am very gay, and I hate it so much. She's a princess. I don't stand a chance. I think that's cute. 
Uh, there is LGBT rep in this game. Uh, but you kind of have to look for it. Um, Red is female. A library Tom, nice to see you around, Kenneth. I'm sure you have a bit more important things to do than hang around the library. Still, even so, it's nice to have you. I hear Bubbles is working with certain materials. Keep an eye on her for me, okay? I worry about her sometimes. She's a big reader of ours, and given what she checks out, what does she check out? Our quite a big library, isn't it? As of late, don't report this, but a lot on the Cordover Landhog science. It worries me. Fantasy racism, fantasy racism. Man, so many works in the library. Personally, I'm studying Kabbalah. It's hard being a monotheistic myrrh in the famously polytheistic Mertopia. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Kenneth person, right? Yeah, you're Princess Bubbles' cousin. Gee, you like never leave the house, dude, or ma'am, or whatever you prefer. Anyways, I should probably get back to my research. Ambiguously gendered protagonist. I'm currently studying horror terrors. Have you heard about them? Supposedly, if you go to the outskirts of Mertopia and give a sacrifice, the depths will unearth a village of them to you. But now I'm saying too much. This stuff is forbidden for a reason. What is a horror terror? Why exactly are you studying this? What is a horror terror? An unspeakable evil. A creature undefied by Mer's eyes. A creature of madness. And like that'll be it of here. Uh, swimming in the ocean. And let's explore one or two houses, and then I'll show you how I get the NPCs done for the game. Hello, welcome to my home. It's a bit tiny, but I make it do with what I've got. It's wonderful to make your acquaintance. I'm actually starting to join the royal staff, you know. Who knows? Maybe I'll see you around the castle. Though, from what I hear, you choose to live outside of it for whatever reason. Valid, valid. Though I personally would never turn that down. I mean, if I were royalty, I would spend all my time there. <laughs> what a job are you studying for? I'm guessing you're pretty loyal to Bubbles then. I think all mers are to some degree. We love our princess and we love our king. Even when things get rough with what happened during the typhoon. So, yeah, that's what we have so far of the game. Um, and now hopefully this won't mess with me. Uh, let's see, pictures, t -t 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 mermaids versus zombies. So, uh, this is, p this is Angel. She's one of your companions. This is, uh, t -t 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 Billy and O. This is Bubbles. As you can see, she's 16 for the record. Please don't be weird. There is this guy named Tankarn's Tavern who did a, like, bashing of my game. And it was all like, he, he made some weird comments about Bubbles. And I'm like, it even says on the Kickstarter she's 16. I know it cropped, unfortunately, in a weird place. But, um, so yeah, this is all the art. These are visual novels. So the way this is, so like a big inspiration for the game was Persona 4. So if you don't know what Persona 4 is, it's like a 3D visual novel meets like RPG dungeon crawler. And so what happens is for all the main story beats, it then there's then a transition screen and then you have to make certain actions as like where you see these characters like you would in a traditional visual novel. Um, and the thing about that is that it then, um, oh, and this is the female zombie and this is the male zombie. Um, and then it goes back to being an RPG base and like the, the events or what will happen in the game is changed based off what you did during the visual novel portions. So it, I think that it was, it was, it was kind of a, I, I try to listen to my critics, but I think it's weird to bash that because it was clear he doesn't know what a visual novel is. Uh, and if you don't know what a visual novel is, this is a visual novel. Hold on. This is what we call Rempi, which is a famous visual novel software. So the plan to do both in two separate softwares is scrap and just continuing with the normal game. Uh, and Rempi uh, is like, this is what a visual novel is. It's like Clanad, uh, Steins Gate. It's a game where you talk to characters with like this border on the bottom. That's, that's what a visual novel is. Um... And so it's like a mix of two different styles of gameplay, and that's basically everything. And then I have all the um, sprites and the NPCs, and these sprite sheets make up each. These these are two sprites of just the characters. Literally, all they're doing is standing. 
um, but I do have references. I went to several different um, doll makers and I basically just came up with some dialogue and I created the characters that we have in our game through all these different visual novels. This one's Muslim because yes. Um, so yeah, uh, I have all these different references and that's basically it. That's everything. Uh, this has been an update. I will, next time I update, I'll probably have the visual novel stuff implemented or the quest system implemented. And, uh, hopefully I'll let you guys know how that goes. If I get a new pixel artist or something, I'll let you guys know ahead of time. So yeah, this is just all the progress we've made so far. Uh, I love you guys. I know it's not much to look at. I'm currently getting the portraits done.